welcome to this week's episode of In the Know with Casey Ferrand. I'm your host, and this week I have a tentilating interview <laughs> with Chef Eric Cook. How you doing, Chef? I'm doing fantastic. How are you today? Thank you so much for being here. Um, and if you don't know Chef Eric Cook, he's actually the owner of a restaurant in the Lower Garden District called Grigri, and he has an extensive resume of local New Orleans restaurants as he's, that he's worked in. And I want you to tell me a little bit about your experience in the restaurant industry. Where did that get started? Because I know you have a very different background than most. Yeah, it was really uh, completely accidental, me getting into the, into the, I guess, you know, into the professional side of it, making it a career. Um, you know, I joined the Marine Corps when I was very young, when I was 17 years old. Um, I did uh, six years at the Marines. And then when I got out, uh, I really didn't have any direction. So um, a friend of mine was like, hey, you know, uh, let me just get you a job in a restaurant. I was like, I don't know anything about restaurants at all. So I was a young kid and I jumped into a restaurant and it was, um, you know, it's very paramilitary, you know, the, the restaurant industry, as far as, um, you know, chain of command, there's uh, rank, there's structure, there's discipline. So I really started focusing. And as I moved into some of the bigger restaurants around New Orleans, uh, I worked at Brennan's under Mike Roussel in the late 90s, in the early 2000s, and then transitioning over to Commander's Palace. Um, yeah, it was, it was definitely completely accidental. And um, I'm glad I fell into it. You know, and now, of course, I absolutely love uh, being in the industry and I love being a part of this great city's, you know, heritage and culture with such an amazing food scene. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, it's accidental, but it's won you lots of accolades. I mean, this is a career that you've made amazing. Um, and it's actually stepped you into a new venture, which I really wanted to talk to you about. Um, you're on a new show with Gordon Ramsay called Unchartered. Eric swears Cajun cooking comes from the soul, but his dishes are so bloody delicious, I wonder if he hasn't sold his own. So I watched a couple of the previews, and uh, it takes people to Thailand, India, all these amazing, rich cultural places across the world, and then they come to Louisiana, which is so amazing to know that yeah. we have that much culture in the restaurant industry and drew the attention of Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, and that was really the part that I was trying to get my head wrapped around the whole time. You know, the premise behind it um, is that, you know, Gordon is such an accomplished chef, and he's done so much in his career that I think he kind of hit a level, which I think a lot of cooks can relate to. He kind of hit the ceiling, and he just wanted to be challenged again. And that was kind of the premise. But when I started watching season two, and, I, you know, and after communicating with the crew and doing the shooting, um, they're like, oh, yeah, we were in this canoe in – you know, Indonesia, trying to keep our herbs and our food alive on ice, going through this jungle river. And, and I'm like, wow, you know, and then you get into, you know, episode two was like Africa. And he's just kind of walking along. And all of a sudden, like, boop, this giraffe kind of goes by the road. And I'm like, oh, my God. And then it's like rhinos and hippos and this amazing scenery. And, I, you know, I'm trying to get my head wrapped around. I'm like, where does Louisiana fit into the grand scale of this, you know, epic production? You know, when you get out there and you start thinking about someone who hasn't been down in the marsh, down in Venice, and, and down in that climate, in that, in that environment, um, I guess it can be pretty, uh, you know, uh, exotic and, and wild and, you know, and dangerous. And, you know, there's alligators and all kind of stuff going on they're not familiar with. So it was cool to see it through their perspective, how they captured the real beauty and essence um, of the wetlands of South Louisiana. It was, it was, it was really eye-opening for me as well. So I want to show our viewers a quick glimpse of one of the clips from the episode um, where you and Gordon Ramsay are making gumbo in the wetlands. Let's look at that real quick. <laughs> this roux will serve as a hearty base for my gumbo. If the roux is wrong, my gumbo won't be right. Are you doing a gumbo already? I am. I don't I'm know, cooking man. that out. That's good color. Yeah. Look at I that. mean, I've never taken a roux this dark. Like a drill instructor, Eric has led me through my basic training. Now we're going head to head to see who makes the best roux. Okay, so tell me the truth. How was Gordon's gumbo? It was really good. It was really, really actually very, very good. But his talents were, uh, you know, obviously, you know, unbelievable. So once he got the ingredients and we spent some time together uh, talking about 
you know, feeling the love and the passion for the food is so important. Getting that into, you know, your food, it has to come from the soul. And uh, he really knocked it out of the park. It was absolutely delicious. He did a great job. Talk about that honor for you to just kind of represent all that we have here. It's humbling, but it's also, uh, you know, in the back of your head, you know, you're thinking like, man, what are my friends in Lafayette going to say? Man, what are my friends, you know, and my fellow chef guys and my, my guests and my friends and everyone, you know, because everyone has this idea. And, you know, the, the mission for me was to, to be genuine um, and also bring up, you know, a lot of issues that are, are you know, important to us, which is conservation uh, of the wetlands, uh, the, you know, the, the, the problem that we face with coastal erosion. And he was blown away by the, the amount of natural resources that come out of South Louisiana. But he was also very adamant once he got his grasp on, you know, the abundance of the natural resources that come out he became very adamant about, we have to protect this. And he understood what it means to have this amazing wetland around us, how much it means not only to us, but to the world and to the country and how much we export out of, out of South Louisiana. Well, we're honored to have you as an ambassador and a representative of our great city and our state. Um, I just wanna thank you so much for taking the time out to come on the show this week. Tell people where they can watch and when, cause I know they're gonna to wanna to see it. Yeah, it's coming on this Sunday on National Geographic at 9 o'clock Central, 9 p.m. Central uh, on Nat Geo and Disney Plus. And, you know, it's 172 countries are watching. So I hope everyone enjoys it. But I'm, I'm just as thrilled as everyone who is uh, who wants to watch it to see then, it on Sunday as well. And after they watch it, they need to come see you at the restaurant on uh, Magazine Street. Come and get some gumbo. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make sure we make it out too soon. I appreciate it. Good, good. You. Oh, I love it. I love it. Thank you.